It's all going down in Newcastle. You don't want to miss this one. Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Cook and Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up. Eduardo, I feel like I'm on a die here, so I'm, this Wait, might not be wrong. did you up on that run? Yeah. What proper Proper. Cook? And I didn't even eat yesterday. Did you have beers last night? I don't drink. Oh, Remember? wow. Good effort though, boy. You'll feel unbelievable later. You'll be absolutely bugged. My problem right is I've been doing a treadmill every day. Yeah, of course you have. Yes. I have been. Oh, mate, calm down. Don't, don't get in touch with you, buddy. Right, Edward, straight to it. Damn his ease. It's a random. Yeah, you got, yeah. In Milan, talk to me about that. I didn't know. Was that involved in discussions whenever you were dis discussing, you know, that? that I think so. Frank, did you know about Dan Aziz fighting in Milan? Yeah. When you had those imaginary conversations with him? I know, I made them up. I don't know. Oh, but did you know about that? Huh? Did you know about that? They must have done it when they signed the contract about four days ago. Probably. Did you know about it though? No. What would be the reason a promoter would do that? I don't know. Extra money? Nah, just maybe he wants a little run out. I don't know, when did he last fight in France, was it? A bit weird, because he didn't fight that long ago, but maybe, I don't know, has he got a new trainer? I don't know. It's not, it's not really a big deal, Con, to be honest with you. <laughs> Looking trying, forward to find, the, trying to find some. The Detroit juice. card. Tonight. Yeah. Is this a, a risk for Andy Cruz in his pro debut? Yeah, it is, because you know how critical the, the sport is. So if he doesn't look unbelievable tonight, he's going to get criticised. Like we should really be embracing the, guy, the fact that the guy is fighting a three-time world title challenger on his debut over 10 rounds. Come on. But unfortunately, when, when you've got a lot of hype. Yeah, I love those T-shirts, by the way. Look at those T-shirts. I love those T-shirts. Where'd you get them from? Oh, I love them. Sorry. Um, I think she said. Much she love. She's in there. What up, doll? What up, doll? Um, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you're going to get criticised unless you look unbelievable. It's going to be very difficult to look unbelievable against Burgos in your debut. But. We'll see. That's that's. Yeah, if you want a big deal, if you want a signing bonus, if you want the hype, you have to look good, and that's on him tonight. When you sat down with Tom Dallas, the matchmaker, mm. and you guys, you know, made this fight, was it ever in your intention to give him a bit of a an easy fight? I was. A, I, look, I think Burgos is a really great opponent for him. The problem with Burgos is I don't think he's ever been stopped. So it's very unlikely that Andy Cruz is going to stop him. So therefore, if it's going to go ten rounds, he's got. A, probably be more aggressive than he would like to be or normally is do you understand so and then you might make mistakes and then you might make look a little bit sloppy and then like you can't just go in there and be defensive and bore people over 10 rounds but at the same time it's, it's his first fight so but tough you know that's the expectations Jermaine Franklin came through two tough fights again Anthony Joshua Dillian White his stock actually rules through that mm. is this him fighting for his life on a matchroom contract tonight? no look he can get a contract with wherever he wants I, I really appreciate the value people put on being with Matrim and like I'm trying to get like the amount of fighters that don't have a contract with us who fight on these cards and say, oh, hopefully I'm hoping to look good and get a Matrim deal, which is like, I find that really flattering. And Jermaine could have loads of offers, but we'd like to work with Jermaine, but he does have to win tonight and he probably has to win well. It's actually quite a tough fight. Who knows? He's right up for it. I mean, he's a bit of an unknown. 19 and 0, 17 knockouts, never really fought anybody of major note but at 230 amateur fights boxing and wsb he's a decent fighter so i'm looking forward to see jermaine in action the schedule from the zone when's it likely to land start of next week uh no it'll be the week after next and we'll be having announcements all of that week and then we're going to hold a big event to do the whole schedule from august to december so we are yesterday we nailed another big fight um and we've got other fights agreed, terms agreed, subject to sanction from governing bodies, etc., etc. Obviously, we've got a couple of mega fights in America that we're working towards as well. So that's the plan is leave here on Sunday, have a couple of days off, rest. And then over those next couple of weeks that we have off, just box off the whole schedule till the end of the year. Things have gone quiet on the Abu Dhabi show. Is that still going ahead? Yeah, I mean, we were trying to do, we'd agreed to do the Conor Ben Chris Eubank fight there. but We kind of run out of time because of the hearing. So unfortunately, we won't be holding that in Abu Dhabi, but we hope to be able to hold that fight in the UK. But Abu Dhabi still want to do a show. 
Um, I Before would like Christmas. Yes, I would like to push the winner of Callum Smith uh, against Better Be against Dimitri Bivol. Um, but we need the lead up time, and that's one of the issues: is making sure we have enough time. And that was the problem with playing against Eubank. Will Bivol fight in the interim? Yes, for them? yes, he wants to. He wants to fight at the end of September. Likely opponents being touted by Frank Smith is Anthony Yard. Is that? Yeah, your... we'd like to. I would speak to George Warren next week. Um, you know, there could be a deal there done. Maybe yeah, we want. Dimitri wants to fight in America, so you know we could look at BT maybe airing that fight and us hosting it on the zone in America, etc. There's a lot of ways around it, but I do like the Anthony Yard fight. I think it's a tremendous fight, and I think he put a great performance in against Better Biff. Morning, Gosho, when and who's the likely headliner? Be in November, uh, and there'll be a couple of world title fights on that card. We're just putting that together at the moment. Delighted to go back there. It's one of my favourite shows that uh, stopped during COVID and now just comes back. And, uh, be, and that will be part of the big announcement coming up. Last one from me, Katie Taylor, Chantal Cameron. Will that happen at 1.40 and is it actually signed now? Um, it doesn't have to be signed because it's already signed in terms of the rematch clause. But we want to make sure that everybody's happy. We've been going through that process with Chantel. That's not just a case of tough, that's what it is, see you there. It's, you know, we want to make sure that she feels comfortable going there. She's the A-side this time around. Um, and there's a lot of things she has to get this time around. Um, but also, we know it's a massive event in Ireland, generates the money that is in, enables these girls to receive a lot of money for that fight. And um, it's going to be a huge event, huge card, and that'll be part of the schedule announced as well. It's going to happen at 140 pounds? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Edward, thank you very much for coming. Cheers, It's all going down in Newcastle. You don't want to miss this one. Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Kuka Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn, you get up. You dress up and you fucking show up.